It is so easy to get distracted at work, whether it's your cell phone, someone dropping by your desk, or you just not wanting to do a particular task. So guess what? You're wandering. Being distracted at work has some dire consequences on our productivity. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how not to get distracted at work. Now, in order to help you with this, understanding some mindfulness techniques is a great way to ground yourself and ensure that you are focused. Stay tuned to the end of this video, and I'm going to share with you a link on how to do just that. Hi, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Adriana Girdler, and I'm a productivity specialist. I love this quote by Paul Meyer. Productivity is not an accident. It's always a result of commitment to excellence, intelligent planning, and focused effort. So today, I'm going to show you how to do just that by teaching you how not to get distracted at work. Work with productive people. Whoa, Adriana, I don't have a choice with who I work with. Whoa, 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 I get it. All right, there are times on projects and sometimes with our own teams that we can't choose whom we wanna work with and maybe some of those people aren't that productive. However, you do have choice with who, you, with who you hang out with. And just as the old adage goes that even what our parents used to tell us when we were much younger, who you hang around with is a reflection on you. So at work, find people who are really productive, who are go-getters, who are looking towards achieving goals, who get things done and are highly regarded at work. Those are the people you wanna hang out, out with because they're gonna rub off on you, which is really cool. You're gonna learn some cool things too. And then that gives you the ability to really understand and maybe pick up some other techniques on how to be productive and not distracted at work. Write it down. How many times has this ever happened to you? You're busy doing something and then a flood of things uh, go into your head about, oh my goodness, I have to do this, send this email, make this call. Why? Because we think we have the ability to keep all that information in our head. I promise you, the more you write down and can sort of write it and forget it, it allows you to focus on the things that you need to do. So there's a couple techniques you can do for this. I'm a big believer in planning. So organize yourself accordingly, whether that's electronic tool or something as very old fashioned as a notebook, whatever works for you. Whenever you get some information, write it down immediately. And then once at the end of the day, you can integrate whatever you wrote down of your to do's into your overall schedule and plan. It makes a huge difference. You don't want to forget stuff and we can get distracted quite easily with conversations and meetings that that important thing we were supposed to take away, we forgot to do. Has it ever happened to you? Don't ever let that happen again. Write it down. Have you ever forgotten some important information because you were distracted at work? Share with me your story in the comment below. Write it down now before you forget. Let people know. Let people know that you're just not gonna be available. A lot of times you get higher up in positions or you are within a project or you have a major deliverable, you're gonna get asked questions all the time, you may be interrupted. That has a big issue on productivity and flow. So what you wanna do in order to not be distracted by those things is you have to let people know that you need some time, block of time in order to get work done. So this is what I do with my team. I come in, I go, team, how are you doing? I need a few hours in order to get this report done for the client. Do you have any questions for me? Anything that we need to talk about? Usually there's a few, they have a few questions and I can answer them right away. And then usually what my team does is when you're done, Adriana, can we sit down and chat about this? So it allows them to know at some point we are gonna chat, but allows me the time that I need. And what's more important is I also put my power hour on my door so they know not to interrupt me. So if you want one of these babies, I highly recommend it. I'm gonna have it in the link below so you can check it out. But let people know when you need a block of time that's to not be distracted have a vision for a reason. I am a big believer in vision statements, particularly personal vision statements. In fact, here is mine. Absolutely love it. If you're interested in this, I'm gonna give you a link that you can check out some other videos and how to actually do this. It's pretty cool. But the reason why I'm a big believer in this is it's really easy to get distracted and go down paths that lead you nowhere. Right? We've heard that adage of people down the road, they're in a career, and then all of a sudden they go, what am I doing? I don't wanna do this anymore. Don't be one of those people. Have a plan, and that plan and your path is your vision statement. It guides you, you have it everywhere. I have mine on mouse pads, screen savers. I actually have it on canvas. So whenever I need to make a decision, or just to remind myself, who am I, what am I about, and how do I wanna achieve things in life? I look at my vision, a beautiful way to keep on point and not get distracted. Come back to the hard question. 
it's interesting because with this particular one, some would say, shouldn't you do the hardest things first? You hear that uh, saying, eat the frog, which is do the most difficult things first. But sometimes you don't have that option. And what I mean by that is you may have chosen to do a report and you're in the midst of going through it and then you come across something really difficult and you don't know how to answer it. So what sometimes happens is because we don't know how to answer it, we get very distracted and we were in such a role before that we've lost it. So what I want you to do is skip it. You don't have to have all your answers when you're creating documents or creating anything in general. You just have to get through it. You can always go back to it. So you don't have to solve a problem immediately. You can always come back. Now, if it is critical that you need to have the answer right there and then, by all means, check in with whomever you have to check in with in order to get the answer. But if you can skip it, do it. I promise you, you'll be more productive and less distractions will come your way. So now that you know the steps on how to be less distracted at work, it is important to understand mindfulness because this is some tools and techniques that are gonna ground you so that you can be extremely focused. You can get this free checklist from the link below. Please check it out. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with all the professionals that you know. I would love to hear from you. If you have any other additional tips on how to eliminate distraction at work, please write it in the comment below. But do it quick or you may forget. Thank you so much. See you at the next video.